So the guys at Fluvalve designed this absolutely beautiful nano tank. Uh, thoughtfully, they put a nice lid on it with an integrated light. That's beautiful. Um, but just for a laugh, they thought they'd leave a, a gap. Uh, they call it a feeding hole, but it's actually a, a jumping hoop for your fish to jump out of. Uh, a little incentive there for any fish to get a bit bored, want to exit the tank. That's the hole to go through. Um, I didn't agree with that aspect of the design, and I think a few of the people haven't either. I've seen a few solutions for this uh, to stop the fish jumping out of that hole. Mine is very simple. Just applied a bit of um, super glue around the edge there, and then um, took a piece of um, egg crate, cut it down to size, filed it a little bit, and you'll see in a minute, I'm going to apply that on there um, so that with this solution, you still get the airflow. You can still actually feed through it, um, you know, drop pellets and things like that through. Um, but you've got a nice little guard so that the fish have got no means to escape. Um, you see, once it goes back on the tank, uh, it's pretty secure, it's pretty safe. Um, and I think it's going to, it's going to work. Uh, there we go. There are a couple of alternatives I had a look online before choosing to do this. Uh, one, it was on the Etsy website. It's a little block that kind of sticks in there and you use a magnet to pull it out. Um, it's about 12 quid there for the bit and a few more quid for the magnet. There's also one on eBay there for something like £4.50. Um, and it's been 3D printed and I don't think it's the most beautiful addition, unfortunately, although it probably does the job. Uh, yeah, and then last of all, take a bit of egg crate, super glue it on. Uh, looks elegant and probably costs you about £2.50 to uh, fix up. So there's a few options. Thought that might be useful.